I don't know about you guys, but I can't be bothered to set a 3D scene for just a simple tracking shot. Creating the camera, positioning each layer in set, not to mention how every layer style breaks down as soon as you hit continuous rasterize. And why doesn't After Effects create a single controller for both position and point of view? Lucky for you, there is a quicker way to make a tracking shot, and it looks just as good. First I'm gonna create four nodes. Each of them is going to control a depth layer, so I'm gonna rename them accordingly. First term, second term, third term and fourth term. You can create less or more nodes depending on how many depths you want to have. For now I think for me four is enough. I'll grab all of them and hit P on the keyboard to access their position. I want to have some elements between the main character and the camera. I will use second term as the main term and I'm gonna point each node position to the second term node position. Now I'll open each position expression. You can also select every layer and hit U twice to get all the expressions out. And now I'm gonna use simple multiplications or divisions to create different movement speeds. The closer the object, the faster we see it move. The first term needs to move faster than the main one, so for this I'll multiply. The rest of the terms will move slower than the main one, so for those I'll divide. The farther the object, the bigger the number I divide it by. You can try different numbers until you're happy. Obviously, we don't want just a few nodes moving at different speeds, we want a full scene. And I have one. I've separated this scene in 5 blocks that I will point to each node to create the illusion of depth. As you can see, each precom contains a different set of elements and it's separated according to their positions in space. All I have to do is link my first term to the first term null. 2nd to 2nd, 3rd to 3rd and so on. As I decided that the 2nd term would be the main term, I will use that node, 2nd term, as the controller. Look what happens when I move it. Ooh, how cool is that? But it can be cooler, so I'm gonna play with the numbers until I'm completely happy with the results. You can always adjust these numbers, but remember you'll have to unpair the layers from their nodes before you touch any expressions. I'm gonna adjust the expressions. I thought I wouldn't need a controller for the farthest background. Think about the moon, it's so far away that it looks like it never moves. But I think it's gonna look better if the sun also moves a bit. So I will create one more node for the background. I'll divide the movement by a higher number. and link the background layer to the node. I will reposition the ending position of the background to have a pretty frame. I had the sky and the sea fitted to the screen so I'll have to get into the precomp and scale them wider to make sure the whole movement is covered. And now everything looks just fine. 